Welcome to Unfinished Stitches. I'm Bonnie. And I'm Madison. And today we are going to share with you our non-seasonal whips. So everything that isn't fall or winter. So we have a lot. So we're just going to jump right in and get started. Yep. And this All is right. from 2023. Yes. Good call. I'll go first. You go first. Because I think I have a lot more things I than you I think you do have a few more than me. Okay. So I started this last year a peacock, a unicorn, and a badger from a scarlet letter. And there it is. And okay, so as far as fabrics, I will try to say what I have. If I don't know, we both will try. Um, I don't know. So this is from here. Here's my start. And I'm doing this on it's an 18 count. I know that. Um, Oh, it's from Trixie Tricycle, whatever her company name is. I can't think of the name of it right off the top of my head. But I decided, did you find it? Yes. Oh, it's from Cedar River. That's her company name. Cedar River and the colors Arboreal. Arboreal? Ar yeah. Arbor, like arbor, like a tree. Yeah. So I picked this green because I'm not going to do the background stitching on this the um fill in there's the color the background yeah because this is full coverage with the green on the background and i'm not doing that that's why i picked this green so that was my start and i am doing one thread over one so this is an example of one that i rarely do just one thread okay okay um so mine is actually i'm this is this is actually my oldest whip, so we're going to start with that one. And it is a mill health kit, and it is called Laundry. And so this was actually the first cross-stitch project I ever did. And I have made quite a bit of progress on it. There's a lot of backstitching and beading that still needs to be done and fill in since it's full coverage. But I'd like to get this one done because, yep, it's my first one. It's really fun to do, so... I very much enjoy it. The colors on that one are really pretty. They are pretty. My next one is um, Amelia Prescott and Her Parents Did Educate Her by Kathy Barrick. This is an older one that I started when I kind of got back into cross stitches kind of situation as well. Um, this is six, this, stitched on a 16 count Ada dyed by me. It was white and I dyed it with rip dye. And I've started the gritting on this, um, but that's, that's it. With, that's it. <laughs> that's all I've, that's, <laughs> that's what all. I got. That's what I got. So that's it. I think I started that one too. I would like I to get this gridded so that I could just pick it up. Gritting is boring like that. Doing, you know, because that chart is all. You have to count every you have to ten. Count. Yep. And then... So I feel like once I had that done, it. It will be fun to go back and fill in the numbers. 100%. And then after that, it's mostly done, yeah. right? So, so you yeah, know. <laughs> half be what, what does Mary Poppins say? Half. I don't know. I'm I, Half begun is half start. I don't know. I can't anyway. remember it, but I do know what you're talking about. Um, all right. My next one is um, by Hands Across the Sea Samplers, the Alexandros of Linthrum, 1829. I always love this one because of the, <gasps> the bird and the people down here. And this one I am stitching on, I believe it's a 16 count, and I've dyed it with tea. So I have this most up here in the corner done. And then I've got the top and side border done, so that's the size. This one's fun to work on because the colors are really, really pretty. Um, there's a lot of eyelet stitching or Algerian eyelets. That's how these al this alphabet is made. So it's got a fun, a lot of fun different other stitches. So it's kind of, you know, and then this here is like a satin back stitch. Here's more Algerian eyelets. So it's definitely a fun one to do. I and I always enjoy working on it when I when I do pick it up. When you get it out, yeah. Okay, my next one is The Farms of Hawk Run Hollow. And I started this one several years ago in Texas with my sister. And it's 
um, by Carriage House Samplings, and I was looking to see if I could quickly find what my fabric was. Here is, I don't, I can't find a pattern cover right now. <laughs> this is what it looks like as one big piece. Now I'm making mine thinner, less high and wider. So I'm, I'm pulling up some of these to make it longer. I don't know. That was a weird way to say that, but at any rate, it more horizontal it's going to be horizontal. Instead yes. of. So this is, I'll give you a close up. So this is the first block. I have that one done. The cows were fun to do, um, but they were a lot of, they were a lot of, that was a lot of intense. Hopper and hollow blocks are pretty heavy stitching. They are. I mean, even stitching those borders and you've got all those stitched. Yeah. Well, well I have. the most part, right? Yeah, I've got to add things. a couple more over here to this side. Awesome. But. Getting those gridded up is a huge accomplishment. And you can see I still have my thread hanging. I have not worked on it for a couple years. I would really like to get to it. Just like everything in my whip pile. I love it all. But, you know, someday when it, the mood strikes me, I will work on it. All right, my next one is also another really, really early. This was my first, um, sorry, it's in my eye. My first cross stitch project on Ada, and it was a kit I bought, I believe, from Hobby Lobby using white Zweigart ivory. Um, it's a map of the United States. Was it a dimensions kit? Wasn't it one of those dimensions kits? No, it's an art. Oh, okay, kit. okay, sorry. Um, it's called Map of America, and it came with thread and Ada, but the thread was terrible so I replaced it with um my own thread I just matched the colors to have the same colors oh I hadn't remembered that but yeah, now that it you wasn't say it. DMC and so it was just it was it was not very nice thread at all I had kind of forgotten that so I'm I'm really I got quite a bit done here I just need to kind of finish it up there's a lot of stitching on top of stitching so it takes a lot of extra, a lot of straight, like a back stitch. Yeah, like on top that white block there, and yeah. So, but it's very, very pretty, and I do like it. One day I'll finish it. I loved working on it. Okay. This next one is from Heartstring Samplery, and it's Consider the Lilies. I know you guys all know what that one is. It's a huge sampler very pretty and I did oh, I did start this one but I don't remember how much I have on this one not I don't think I have very much this is on a 16 remember. count fog I like fog I like fog from picture this plus did yeah. I say that oh so I just have here's my little start just a little branch up in the corner and so just to give you an idea, so this is a 16 count, like it's, it's massive. Double that. It's massive. It's 435 by 363 is the stitch count. Yeah, it's massive. Like, <laughs> but you know, go big or go home. Exactly. Why not? I'll never finish it, but I don't care if I have fun stitching on it sometime. That's all that counts. Exactly. Okay. All right, my next one is by October House, and this is Americana Red. I love this one. And I'm stitching this on an 18 count that I hand dyed with tea. And I am using 3777, which is not the called for red, but I just liked this red better on my Ada. So I have a nice start. It's really fun to stitch. I had fun with it. I want to get back to it. I started it over the summer for like 4th of July and stuff. So it's really cute. They're all really cute. We love them all. I love them all. It's yeah. so fun to get these out and open them up and look and at also, them. Like I love how this one died up. Do you see the modeling? I baked it after I dyed it with the tea. So it got nice and yes. modeled, which is exactly because I kind of wanted it to look like vintagey because mm -hmm. I feel like for some reason this just like reminds me. It's like vintage. I don't know. The vintage barn and like. Yeah. I don't know. So. I like it. Yeah, I love getting through and looking at all I these. do too. If you guys have whips, get them out and at least just. Oh, here's a pair of scissors. I at take, least just look at them. And look at them. And see, I take my scissors. I don't usually leave scissors in there. So you don't forget what you have and see how pretty Yeah, and look at it. You might get inspired yes. to get one out and work on it. 
Exactly. Um, this is from Teresa Kogut, For the Love of Nature. I started this one December for my birthday. I think it was like two years ago. And I worked on it for a little bit and then I just put it away. But um, here, it's a 16 count Rin from Picture This Plus. And I just have this little, I worked on this tree. And that's what I have done. That's it. Which is actually a lot of It's stitching. a very detailed tree, though, so it's a lot of stitching. It is, and I think I still have some fill-in to do on it. But it's super cute. and um, I like the raccoon on the bottom. There is also fabric that she, she, Teresa Kogut designed based around this uh, for the love of nature. I have one of the kids for that. It's really cute. Anyway, that's what I have. I haven't been counting these. I'm not counting them. Me neither. Um, maybe we will figure that out. But right now, it's just, it was I think, a feat. To, I think I know to gather I, them all together. So yeah. Um, so this is you just showed this Amelia yep. Prescott and how her parents had educate her. Um, I also I did this on 16 count that I hand dyed with charcoal, and I don't know which way this goes. And I have started to grid mine as well. Um, I went across and I think you went I, I'm all over the place. I don't know. But so, oh wait. Oh my God. That's the back. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Here's the front. I thought it looked weird. That's funny. Okay. And I even have a, a thread hanging here. I'll show you again. There we go. So starting to go across. I like how this. I like how you went across out. instead of the, where I went. Ramby Bambi. Did we tie those together? No. No. Okay. I do not think that we did. Okay. This one, oh, I sought this pattern out for months after I saw somebody show it and finally found it. I, I do too. Um, it's called Mary Kath Harris, 1873. And I think they abbreviate Catherine. Like that's what that's for. So but too. it's by Erna Hiscock. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It's the um, zebra sampler. Here's who it's by. Here's the name. And I don't know where you can get it at this point. I think I think I emailed somebody or something. I can't remember. It's been a long time. I need to finish this one. I like this one. Oh, and it looks so sweet on there. It does. And I don't know. Let me see if I can tell you. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to tell you. I don't know. It looks like a 18 count. It does. It looks really something. Small. I didn't dye this. I do know that. Feels like a picture of this plus thing. So anyway, I started with the alphabet on the top and would really like to get to that one. Okay. My next one is another Hands Press the Sea Samplers. Um, it's called Harriet Salt 1866, orphan number 1628. And this is my red work Bristol sampler that I started. I love this one. And this one is stitched on 18 count that I hand dyed with tea. And here's my progress so far. Um, I'd like to make more progress on this. I think this might be a goal for 2024, but we'll see. So I really like it. And this I stitched with Sulky. Um, 12 weight 12 Sulky. 12 weight Sulky. Mm -hmm. Comes on a spool so, like this. Um, it's with one, so it's one thread because it's a yeah. little bit It's color thicker. 1169. Yep. It's kind of equivalent to one and a half strands of DMC. It stitches very nice. We used to use it for embroidery a lot. It stitches very nice on here. Okay, so along those same lines, I have Mary 395 that I'm working on. It's a whip. Um, 1869. And, you know, I don't even think this one is big as, is as big as that hands across the sea one that I have. The lilies one? Yeah. Mean? Yeah. Yeah. So here's my progress. And I, of course, would like to work more on this thanks to Helen. That was one of our viewers that requested to see these. 
so much fun to get them back out. It is Look so much everything. fun to get them back out and touch them. So get your whips out. Look how much progress we've made on everything, you know? Considering how many projects yeah. we have, the fact that we've got stuff done on all of them, I think is right. great. I agree. <laughs> Celebrate your successes. Exactly. Okay. okay, my next one is another Mill Hill kit. And this one is called Cabin Fever, which is really fun. I like the fire and the marshmallows. And I just have a little bit. This is done on perforated paper that was provided by the kit. These is it's always easiest to start in the middle on these, so I started on the little marshmallow. So not much, but I always love these. I love Mill Hill kits. I think they're very fun. They are. I even have my thread hanging here. <laughs> I'm trying to be better about that, but I'm showing my bags. Madison doesn't have hers. I don't have them. Okay, this next one is from, and I don't have the book or I can't show you a copy because it's in a book that I didn't pull down. So it's from, it's called Shine On. It's right here. Isn't this it? Yeah, that's it. From Bonnie and Camille. It's in a quilt book actually. And then in this book is a cross stitch pattern. Um, and I have seen recently that someone has redone up this pattern in different, I think they're Christmas colors. It's real pretty, but here's the cross stitch version of the quilt. Okay. I have this done on 14 count white. And this one is so fun to stitch on. I have so much done on I this I need one. to get some more done. It's really, really fun. I did change out the yellow and the red. The red you changed, it was 666 and you changed it to 321. And the yellow was 727 and you changed it to 726. Yeah, the yellow just was too bright and didn't show up good on the white. So I went with like a more little bit. A little bit darker. Kind of or, or, darker, not buttery, but just a darker yellow. And then the red was brighter too that I picked. So, and it's a super fun chunks of color to do. It's fun. I, need, I need to finish that one. Thank you. Yes, I pulled the book out. That was a miracle. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was up there, but it was right good job. Handy right there. Good job. Um, so my next one is also from, it's from Plum Street Samplers and it is called, um, the Milk and Cream Company with the cute little cow. I always have loved this one. And this is stitched on 16 count that I dyed with tea. It's a cute little square. I mostly just have worked on the bottom. Um, and the bottom is all fill in back here. So you can see I've started to fill that in and then do the, the little hills as well. I have always loved this pattern. It's a lot of stitching for such a little block. Yeah. It's, it's still There's one, a lot of fill-in at the bottom there. It's 123 by 127, so it's still quite a lot, and it's a lot of fill-in. So I think once I get the bottom done, maybe I can make some more progress. Yeah, I love that one, so. too. The first time I saw it made up was Lori Holt had it done up, and it I was think, so pretty. Yeah, I think I have as well. It's very pretty. <laughs> This one is don't pick this, from Plum Street Samplers, and it's a gentleman's daughter. And it says, he is a gentleman, and I am a gentleman's daughter. So far, we are equal from Pride and Prejudice. Right? Isn't that a saying from Pride and Prejudice? I'm pretty sure it is. I feel like it is. Anyway, I think it is. Or at least from a Jane Austen book. Yeah. I don't, I, okay, so my mind is blank. I just have this is on a 14 count color and cotton bisque. Hopefully you can see the coloring in here. Okay. It's a very the colors are nice and soft and sweet. Um so I I this I like it. I just need to, you know, like everything else. I only have so much time, but of course look you at, like it because I you do like it. it. I started it. What else would I have? Look at the pretty house. Although it is a cream colored house. So. Wait, is it? It is. Oh, no, that's not going to show up. You're going to have yeah, to change that. I might have to change that. As I'm looking at this just you might have now. To do like, you might have to switch and do like the roof that and then do a new roof color or something. Do the roof black. That might do... work. Yeah. I'm not stitching that white house. You're right. Anyway, 
So here it is again, in case you, you need to see what I'm changing. <laughs> okay, 14 count color and cotton bisque color. Gosh, I don't know what that went to, or is that yours? That came out of your bag. Okay, I'm that not gonna put it back mine. in there. Thank you. Okay, my next one is Live on Little, which I'm sure many of you have seen from Plum Street <laughs> Samplers, The Giant House. And I am doing mine on 16 count picture this plus fog. And here's my progress so far. So this is the entire width. It's not a problem back Are here. Are you okay? Yeah, I just knocked it all over. It's fine. You're good. No, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, so this is 16 count fog picture this plus and here's the bottom of the ocean. So I have that all filled in, which I was pretty happy. That's a lot of stitching. I, I haven't worked on this in a while, but I love this one so much. That's pretty big. Yeah, Isn't it's it? pretty large. It's 307 by 207. Yeah. You know, so. But I love the picture of this plus fog. I feel like it's a very nice uh, fabric to stitch on. I do I as very well. much like it. Hey. Heck, what what can I say? I have more bags that are empty, so I need to fill them with projects. Same. Just saying. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. I have empty project bags we made. We might as well fill them so up. Many, I know. Okay, this is Nottingham by Kathy Bar Kathy Barrick. Always love this. Um, I am doing this on Heartland from Picture This Plus. It's a fourteen count. And I am doing a combination of color changes. Um, Kathy Barrick had posted on her Instagram a while back where she had two other versions, like she had mocked up in, a, in the computer. This is more of a creamy color. Uh, so I took both of them and picked the colors I liked and meshed them that went with my fabric. So, you know, I, I like like these greens and the blues, and the blues in here. Really pretty. They do look really pretty. It's a lot of work because that's a lot of color changes. In there, there. There's a lot These of colors. Letters. There's a lot of colors in this one. And it was really difficult. I could, I don't know. I just really wanted to mix those colors. I love them. So, because I like some of one and some of another. So, but anyway, I love this project. Another one I want to stitch. Every single one I want to stitch. Right? Oh, why do you think I have the whip? Exactly. Okay. So this one is Garden Party Warm um, from Satsumi Streets. She also has a cool version that uses cool colors like blues and greens and purples. And this is just <clears throat> a 14 count white. Oh, yeah. I forgot how much you've done on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really like this one. So pretty. There's a lot of color changes. But that's why it looks so cool because there's all the variation. So pretty. Yeah, I really mm -hmm. love it. I do too. I think it, and it's a hexagon. So I mean, I probably will do both the cool. That's and the what warm, I was gonna say. But they're both so pretty. I love them. Oh, look at the mushroom. Do you want to see so the mushroom here? <laughs> Look at so mushroom. pretty. I know I hate when people on floss tube say, oh, look how cute. And then they don't show it to you again. You're like, well, wait, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I'll show you guys. And there's, look at that pretty flower. Okay. Oh, you have yours next. So do I. Oh, how funny. Because these are just in like a random order. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know. We couldn't put them in any order. It was, that was going to be too large of a task. This is early Americans. And I don't have a picture of the whole thing. <laughs> do you? No, there so is none. So they no sell picture. individual patterns and we're putting them all together in one and we're both doing it. Did you say it's by Little House Needleworks? I did not. It's Little called. House Needleworks. Early, Early Americans. Americans. And there are nine blocks. Yes, there are nine blocks. And hmm. so I have four blocks done. I really like stitching on this one. I think I like it more than Madison likes it. I don't really like it. Because yeah, I only you have said that. I only have three blocks done. But I really have enjoyed stitching on this one, and so... I like it. I think it's so cool. No, I yours get it. Yours must be a smaller count than mine, because mine is bigger than yours. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, so this is mine. I even have a needle needle in there. I need to take that out. Oh, here's a pair of scissors. <laughs> Look. Look at my fun scissors. 
I had scissors in there. You have, yeah, you have a needle in there. That's bad. Yeah, and I believe mine is 14 count cappuccino from Fiber on a Whim. I think, and I think yours is a 16 count. Do you? Something. I don't know. It's on your Sorry. threads, I think. Isn't I looked. It? No, it's okay. not. I haven't done that to all of them. Yeah, so I I do enjoy working on this, but yeah, I don't. I don't know. I don't know either. I was gonna see if I could see what fabric. I'm gonna that take was. this needle out because that's a good, good idea. I'm a little concerned that it's still in here. Um, I'll stick it over here. I have no notes, so I don't know. Okay. Oh, here I did find it. It's 16 count fiber on a rim, fiber on a whim cafe latte. Okay. Six. So mine is a 16 count. Yeah, it looks. I mean, so, you can tell the difference. Mine yeah. is much bigger than yours. But it's so fun. I love this. I do. I want to get back to it someday. I want to get back to all of them. I know. Me too. I just like to touch the stitching. I know I do it's too. It's so nice. I guess it I'm just not used good. to having all the stitching done. <laughs> so then I'm like, oh, I gotta touch it. I know, right? Okay. We were working. We started that like in February, I think. And we were doing one block a month and we did it. Well, obviously I did it four months. You did it three. You hung on a little longer than me. Um, But you know, it. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we, got we actually have this, you know, this amount is done. Exactly. It doesn't matter that I didn't finish through with it. I That's got it done. Better than nothing, right? Yeah. So 100%. Oh gosh, I remember that sweet lady sent us these. Oh yes. I put that on my hair. Okay. I have that on one of my bags. Do you? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Is it my turn? Well, yeah, you kind of have been going first. I think you have a few more than Look me. at the vintage picnic baskets. I want to go on a vintage picnic in the middle of the woods and with the down by the lake or something. And sing with the animals. And sing with the animals. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Right? Okay. Yeah. What is this project? Oh. Oh. I shouldn't even show this, but it's in my whips. It's Elizabeth Me J. M. Mears, 1833. And I'm going to say this is one that I started. The picture's not very good. Um, it's from Queenstown Sampler Designs. I love, I know this is a white house and yes, I'm going to do it in, in white, I think is what I figured out. But your fabric's dark. So but my fabric is dark and it's a 16 count ale from Picture This Plus. This was a 12 by 12 start and um, thank you. I had gridded out and started stitching the grass on the bottom. Well, it was the wrong bottom. It was the side. And so it's all... It has to be redone. You need to take it out and so it's, flip it. Yeah, it should then, not even be in my whips. Well, you well, technically started it. I started it, but it, it, but, the system but it was started incorrectly. Anyway, so there's that. Just to let you know, we all have those kinds of situations going on. <laughs> right? Yes. yes. I, I do love this pattern. I do love it as well. So anyway. It's very pretty. I don't know. Maybe I should make that house a different color. Now I'm looking at it. Okay, anyway. I like it white, but that's a, it, well, it looks cool white. That's why I picked this dark fabric. I think the white will look pretty on there. Now I you've picked too. the dark fabric, so now you have to do the light house. I do. I just don't like it when the fabric is I light. I don't either. And then the house is light and you can't I agree. see it. I'm like, I, I I love this. I really would like, I mean, look at these blushes. I know, look at that blues, Colors. all the blues on the side. I mean, not that green. we're really sharing all this. That's okay. But it's so pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, it's really pretty. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm okay. Done with my comments. <laughs> okay, I'll go on to my next one. Move on, method. your turn. It's another Plum Street sampler because it's one of my favorite designers. It's called Tomato Dame. This is an older one. She's got a little wagon full of a giant tomato. Oh, I thought you finished that one, but you didn't. Oh, no. I forgot. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> She's thinking I'm finishing stuff. What is she thinking? Um, this is a 14 count and it's antique blue. Um, because theirs is blue. The picture's kind of hard to see, but I wanted mine to be blue as well. So there she is. She's holding her little 10 cent sign. I've started, I just have to fill in the rest of her dress. It's not that big of a pattern. It's very small, but I really like it because it shows up nicely on the blue with her little bun. It could be me. It could be you. So we'll call it you. Yeah. Tomato dame. Tomato dame. Okay. Another project bag. I pretty much made all these. Or we did a collaboration. I need some coffee. Okay, you have some coffee while I dig this pattern yeah. out of here. 
It's trying to be ready to go. This is from the Calico Confectionery, and it's just called America. Exclamation point. <laughs> this is lamb that I love. Did you make this one? No. Mm -hmm. it, it was oh, it was a blackbird one. I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the scallop. I do too. The banner, banner type type thing. Yeah. I don't know what they're called, but I really like it. But again, I haven't made very much progress on it and I'm doing this looks like a 14 count like oatmeal or natural or something mm -hmm. what, what, oh no I sprayed, sprayed it but it looks like oatmeal it, you sprayed it, that I primitive. sprayed with burned together yeah. and so you can see I kind of started one of the oops it would go this way the banner <laughs> yeah wait is that right well they're on no. both sides so it, it goes this way they're on both edges, yeah they are so. both edges so I I, I'm not even sure which way it is did you change the colors it kind of looks like I did, doesn't it? Yeah, because that one's really bright. I like the colors you picked. 14 count, look right here. 14 count oatmeal, Fiddler Zeta, that I sprayed. Oh, no, you did use the called for. Did I? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah. 309 yeah, is the red. Yeah, you did. did it's just, they, they just look very bright in the picture. Yeah. Because they just look a lot more muted. I think because on the darker fabric. Mute yeah. it down just a tad, don't you? Yeah, I agree. So, sorry, I'm touching your threads. That's okay. I I, I'll friends. charge you for that. <laughs> okay. Okay, my next one um, is called A Bit of Spring, and it's from the Blackbird Designs book, Ooh La La. Um, and this is just like my working copy that I have um, from the book. Because that book is a very large book. I like a lot of patterns out of there. And I love this sweet little alphabet with the flowers on the border here. It's very, very pretty. And the colors are also just so gorgeous. And I did this on 16 count. And it looks like I sprayed it with Primitive Gathering Spray. Nice and dark. And here's my progress. Let me get that thread out I always the like way. the pinks and the greens and here. the reds on that sprayed Type so there's the border. I did have to change some of the colors. I think what happened, I think I started stitching it and I couldn't see the green. Oh, it yeah. blended in That's too much. Right. And so I had to unstitch it and then I finally restitched it. I really like this green because it shows up nicely. That's right. She does provide um, DMC colors, but it was the green I think I had to change. So, but I love how it turned out. It's very sweet. It's nice and dark, which is what I want it mm -hmm. to look very elegant, I think. It does look elegant. Okay. All right. Sorry, I got to keep myself organized. Nope, I know. Me too. <laughs> I can't, I found two pair of scissors so far. Good five. I know. those out, huh? I'm leaving those out. This is where it's in here. Oh, I love this one. Shelter from the Storm Scattered Seed Samplers. And mine is on 18 count Rustico Ada Natural. It's going to have a start. You do. I've stitched a little bun, one of the little bunnies there on the bottom. And started the ears of the baby bunny. I like bun. I like bunnies. I like bunnies and mushrooms. I do too. I like they're like Me whimsical. Too. Yeah, and how can you go wrong? Like look at that giant. Look mushroom. at that giant mushroom. Yeah, I love it. I think. No, I guess I have. I was thinking I changed the color of the flowers, but I don't really know at this point. I think that you flip, flip that over. There you go. I think you added oh, some. I did add a different. I used a different green because I had the next color green, so yeah. I just used it. So, yeah, looks like I have those colors. I don't know. I'll have to see when I get to it. So, but anyway, so it looks like I have purples yeah, in here. So purples. I don't know if I was gonna change it. I Maybe don't know. Maybe you have a couple options in there. I think because it looks like you have yeah, a lot more like, colors. Than <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which I do frequently. Do you do that where you add in some things and then you get to it and you're like, hmm, what was I doing? Because <laughs> I didn't write it down. So we yeah, really same. are always like, oh wait, write that down. You changed it. Write it. Write it down. Anyway, okay. All right. 
feel like we're like running a marathon here with all these. I know, I'm sorry. I'm like, okay, next one. Well, I don't want this next to be one. like four hours long. I know, because I think we're barely halfway. So. There's probably 60 plus whips here. So. so. Okay, but it's fun though, because I get to it see everything that you've done Same. too. And so it's a nice, we get to touch it things. Is. Okay, so my next one is called Prim Village by Lori Holt of Be In My Bonnet. And I just love these houses. So I started it. I forgot you started that one. And I have a pretty lame start. This is a 14 count that I sprayed with Primitive Gathering Spray. It's just the first little house there. I don't really have much progress. It's that little green house. This is the green right one. There okay. In the corner. Um, so think, each house is like two shades of a color, right? Yeah, which is why which I kind of cool. liked it. I just thought it was very cool. And then there's all cool. those fun blocks. Like little quilt blocks in between oh, the yeah. houses. That is a really fun one. That's really cute. I think I got kind of bored stitching it. Did you? Because <laughs> it's just like a lot of, I think I outlined it and filled it, tried to fill it in. And... This block's a color. I would probably really like it. I do love the colors she picked though. They look really pretty. Um, yeah, I don't have all my threads. You don't have your threads. I, couldn't, I, was, just, I was just about to say, hey, let me see the threads. I couldn't bring those. It was just too much. Um, but they look really pretty, especially on kind of a darker Ada cloth, which is why I sprayed it. So that primitive gathering spray, man, that checks out. All right. Always checks out, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. I didn't make that bag. It's pretty though. It's, it's from pretty. Joyful Stitching from Etsy. Okay, so this is from the Scarlet House. And it's called this or it's called Sweet Tomato. And it says, sweet plump tomato ripening on the vine. One day soon you're going to be mine. And wow, I didn't know you had so much of that one done. You got those words all done. Do. Let's see if I can see what my fabric is. Picture this put picture this plus fog. 16 count. And I just need to finish up the vine or the border and Stitch, finish my tomato plant. Finish my tomato plant with the pot there and the birds. I like it. I like it too. I got all into when I was working on the garden. Tomatoes. Yeah, I got part. all into yes. the, the gardening starts is what I got into. Yes. Apollo is running around. Apollo, do you need a cookie? <gasps> do you want to come say hi? Here. Oh. Up, up, up. <gasps> there okay. you are. Let's see. Do we have cookies in here? Oh, I oh I'm sure do. we do. Up, up, up. All right. All right. Be gentle. And you're drooling. Gentle. Say hi. I'm I'm a good boy. Okay. He's a little wound up right now. That's a little wound sure. up and the vet says he's thick in the waist. I keep telling people that. He went a couple of months. Gotta stay warm for winter, you know. He's thick in the waist, she said. I'm like, I don't know how. He's high energy. Buddy, come lay in your chair. Come on. Come lay down. Some fun typewriter fabric. Oh, I love this one. It's Fairy oh, Keys up. from Little Fox Stitching. And what drew me to this one were specifically the colors, okay? And when I pulled the colors that they called for, it didn't look like the picture. I don't think. So I think, I mean, there's only three colors in it. Let me look here. Yeah, I didn't use their colors, so I pulled my own colors to make it look like the picture because that's what I liked were the colors. So anyway, and I like your colors; they look I do, they look really, really nice, don't there. they? Yeah. And this is um I'm not sure. It looks like a sixteen count something, doesn't it? It does. Yes. Okay, I'm not sure. But here's my progress. I don't know. It almost looks just like an ivory. Yeah, it looks very. Or something. It, it's not hand dyed. So there's my progress. But it is a 16 count. And I really like the colors that I picked. I don't know if you were seeing through that. but I have a couple little weird mistakes in here too. Um, I don't know. So I just have to be careful when I, I don't, I can't even tell you what they were. <laughs> Something's over further or something. I don't, I don't know. So I do like that one. 
yeah. I love that but one. But I, I, it was just odd. I liked the colors, and then when I pulled the colors, I'm like, it just didn't look the same. No, way. like at all. Sometimes that's so. It just sometimes those pictures just don't look. Well, it's hard on a computer. Hundred percent. Well, oh, or even like, I mean, this has got a photo on it, so I don't know. It does, but it could be computer generated. Who knows? It could. You can see the stitches. No. Though. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sometimes but it's hard you, to tell. But you, you know, it's you're not in person with it. It's just different. It's true. So there we go. Okay, my next one is Strawberry Fields Forever by Blackbird Designs. I love Little House and all the strawberries. And this is on 14 count beige, and this is my, my my progress. It's part of the brick wall at the bottom. I didn't get very far. There's the brick wall at the bottom. But I love this pattern. I'd like to work on it. It's very sweet. So that one's not very exciting. So that, that's it for that one. <laughs> hey, who cares? Okie dokie. I gotta change buckets here. Me too. That's funny. Um, okay. Ugh. Okie dokie. All right. Is it my turn then? Yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. Forgot about this bag. I like that one. Oh, this is from Modern Folk Embroidery. This was a kit I had gotten from Evertote a couple years ago. And it had Ada in it, which was great. Okay, this is a tight fit. And it's um, Isabella's Heart. And I will be changing... I already put in the year and my initial for mine and my husband's uh, anniversary. But So I started down in the corner. As I pull this out... I'm just realizing I made more progress than I thought. So yeah, you've <laughs> that's <a> good. <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I, I stitch slow and that's okay because I enjoy it. So that's what counts. This is, um, this is an 18 count. I know they don't have this fabric anymore because I tried to buy it again. I do know it's an 18 count, but I don't remember what it's called. And it was from Evertote think they dyed it and they are they are not even called leo and roxy anymore it's just roxy floss company i think but i use that's what the, fa the threads are that i'm using and they're really nice to stitch with for a hand cotton or hand dyed so like i i don't mind these for yeah stitching like sometimes I the hand dyed ones i'm not those. a fan but i like these okay that's good so know. anyway that's that. Okay. Mine is Little House Needleworks and it is called Lantern Lane. This is an old start from like 2017, I think. Maybe 2018. Yeah, that is an older one, isn't it? Oh, there's a, a needle on here too. I'm taking that off. Jeez, you've been finding scissors. I've been finding needles. I know we have supplies Ooh. in here that we need. Yeah, we need these. And I did this on a 14 count ivory. And I have the house stitched. I don't have the roof done, but I've got the house and the lantern and the tree. I've had a problem with this one, though, because if you'll see on the bottom there, there's some, I don't even know if you can tell. There's like white snow here mm. and there's some more snow that I have to do. And I was annoyed that you couldn't see it. And therein lies the issue of light and dark, light and dark fabric. And, yeah, just so kinda... I just need to go back and maybe like stitch around it or something to kind of make it stand out and finish it because I love this pattern. It's so pretty, and I have that whole house done. It's a lot of stitching. That is a lot of stitching. And I always loved this tree because it of the it's just, shape. Yeah, it's very geometrical, or I don't know if that's the right word, but yeah, yeah. kind of. So maybe you just need a lighter snow. Yeah, I don't know. I need to go back and figure it out though. Because I do like Because the flowers on it are white as well. Yes, that's... I think I just... Uh, Which are right here. It's hard to see. This is a copy from her pattern. So... Yeah. All right. So that's that one. I, I, I've, This one kind of frustrates me. So that's why I haven't gone back to finish it. But I love it. 
this was back at the beginning when I didn't I remember think to change things, you know, right. when we were still learning. Okay, this is Entwined Hearts from the Scarlet House. And I have to show you it in my project bag because this is one that fused to my vinyl in a very, very, very hot car one day. So I've tried a couple things to get it off, but I'm going to wait till I'm done stitching it and then pull it off and clean up my bag. But this one is so pretty. And this one's actually really fun to stitch on. It is on a 14 count Rubius from Picture Picture This Plus. And I love this. I love one. this this uh, Ada that you found. I do it too. It was hard to find It was the hard right to find color. an Ada with this kind of a color. I shopped for a long time looking for an Ada that I liked. But here's my Ada. And here's my start or my whip. And I do really like it. And I'm also going to use this one um, and put my husband and I's initials. Well, and I'm going to highlight somehow our initials and our date uh, in here, like change the color of the date of our, or the year of our anniversary or, you know, do some, some little funky thing. Um, you can tell in my basket, I'm like kind of in the Valentine area. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That okay. is funny. Okay, my next one is Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais. Love this one. I guess I'm kind of in Valentine-y too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. You must have them in the same order. And this one. Oh, wow. I have more of this done than I thought. I forgot about this. Mm. Um, it's very creasy. Yeah, we didn't iron anything. So we need iron. So I have the entire border done. And there's the four different borders right Are i love that borders? that there's different borders and i've got all the windows done and you can see i've started filling in the house and kind of some of the bottom snow with those trees so i absolutely love this one i love the colors these are all my color conversions um because they were not provided for dmc so this is I like yours. These are my DMC. I got that kitted. Color conversion. I have that kitted. My light pink house. I really, really, really like this pattern. I do too. Um, I'd like to work on this one. Well, anything with pink in it. The pink is like a nice, yeah. subtle pink. I don't know if it's picking up as nicely as I guess it is. Pull it back a little bit, maybe. It's very soft. Oh, maybe not. Okay. It's a very, very soft pink there. That's kind of Yeah, better. that's good. It is a soft pink. And they used a soft pink too, but theirs blends in more with, it's just. It doesn't look as pinky. It looks a little more white. Something, yeah. So, yeah, I'm very happy with how that is turning out. I got the border done. I didn't know I had the border done. Whew. Okay. Well, I just got depressed pulling this one out. What's that one? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So, this one? was my temperature chart from last year. And I don't. I don't have a picture of the pattern because it, I bought it off Etsy and I didn't print it because, so it's a temperature chart. So as, and I tracked the high temperature and let's see if I can tell you who it's from. This is, this is peanut brittle from Leo and Roxy. 16 count a long time ago you can't get it I tried to get more of it you can't so don't even bother unless they redo it but Sarah Hughes for stitching mommy is where it came from off of Etsy so each leaf is a day and so I need you to obviously finish up last year and each branch is a month each branch is a month like you know this is January and February and so on and so I haven't even finished the branches and I do want to finish this because it's really pretty. The colors were gorgeous that are on it. So I do want to finish it. I actually have been working on it a little bit behind the scenes, like recording all my temperatures on my chart so that all I have to go in is stitch the leaf. So I have been working on it, but no stitching, if that makes any sense at all. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. <laughs> You're, you're making sure that you can get it done eventually. Yeah. And so, and, and like, these are the colors. They're just so pretty. They're so pretty. They really are. They're very nice. She does and a good she, job with She that. has different um, temperature variation charts. And you choose, like, 
what your area is, you know, whether you're in a warmer climate, colder climate. So anyway, she did a good job with that. So that's that. And this is going to go in my, this is going to be, I got to work on this. You got to get that done. Are this you doing is, another one for 2024? No, well, I'm not doing another one for 2024. Because that was for 2020. Don't ask me, Colette. I'm not going to do another temperature chart. <laughs> Did she finish hers? I'm pretty sure not. She moved, built a house and moved. So okay. I don't think so. You should check on that. I'm going to check on that. Check on that, Colette. Stop buying sewing machines. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is another friend of Gervais. This is called Sampler Hill. Love this one so much. The, I love the sweet border of the flowers. This is on 16 count toast. Whoopsies. Let's knock my coffee over. And here's my progress. Look at the pretty border. So beautiful. Love it. This is another one I did color conversions to DMC. And you do the best color conversions for Cindy Gervais. She does. I mean, not Cindy. Brenda. <laughs> Brenda. That's Brenda. Well, she does pick beautiful colors and then I just pick good matching ones in DMC. For DMC. So, I mean, it is a, it is a lot of work, but. No, it is a lot of um, work. I do have, I have fun doing the colors. I like color. Yeah. So I've made a lot of progress on this this, this year. I haven't worked on it and I love it so much. I wish I had the colors to show you guys because they're so pretty, but. Let me see the front of They're very mind. springy. Oh yes, I remember now. Yes, that's beautiful. I'm almost done with, well, I'm halfway done filling in the hill. I'm almost done, listen yeah. to me. <laughs> You're halfway done. Halfway I'm done. I'm almost done. I can do this tonight. <laughs> that's what I always think to myself. I have a quarter of the border done because I've got the bottom so oh, I like to work on it. I just found a needle and a needle minder I've been looking oh, for. Oh <laughs> well I've got two needles over here so. Okay. Madison and I are both working on this one. Mm -hmm. Which one is it? Maybe I could find it and show. Oh so we could compare our Sure. Oh, yeah. oh yeah we haven't got to okay, compare to do it fabrics. Wait, let me find it. Oh I got okay. it here. Here I it's got it. It's very bow sampler from Heartstring Sam and the Scarlet House and here it is and we're we're each doing a half for each other and then trading on this on the same fabric so I'm stitching two pieces I'm basically stitching the whole thing on That's my we're... fabric and then giving her my other half mm -hmm. and then she's giving me her half yes of the other side and we're gonna put our initials on the half that we're giving to each other so that then Yes. We know that the other person stitched it. Okay. So we're both doing it on a 16 oh, count. That'll be pretty together. Okay. Mine's mine's a 16 count tea dye that I, I dyed myself. Mine's a 16 count and mine's called Oaken from, I think that Oaken is picture this. Yeah, picture this plus. And we're both working on the same side. Yes. Oh, you have so much more done than me. I love working on this project. I do too. So I these really are the same do. side. So here's mine. Okay, I'll let you go first. So it's the same pattern because there's the two sides. Right. So, I, and I love doing these little motifs. I really do. They're fun. Okay. Okay, and then here's mine. You have more done than me, but these colors are beautiful too. They I, are so pretty. Did you show the pattern? Yes, okay. I did. I did. We got all worked Sorry, up. Sorry, I'm all worked up. I did. I showed it. I showed it. So we're working on this side right now. Right. Okay. But I did start my side for myself. So this is the side we're going to give to each other. Because yes. we decided we'd do that one first. You yes. Said that. Yes. So. Well, because, and the reason I stopped is because I figured out that I miscounted and I've oh, messed no. up my basket. And I have an extra row or something of stitches on my basket. You can clearly see it's not symmetrical. Oh, I see. So I quit because I was going to decide what I was going to do. And so that's what happened. So that's my other side. Okay, let's put them so back mad. up next to each other so we can see what they're going to okay. look like. The colors. I mean, I know these are the same. I'll let you... Here, I'll hold this side. So we'll each... Yeah, they'll be good together. They will look good together. They go... They're kind of like brown and golden. Uh -huh. So they're different, but not. Uh-huh. And if you look at the pattern, so... you can see that the fabrics are definitely different. So we kind of try to do a golden in the... Brown. Kind of brown. That picture's not the best. No, it's pattern. not. I don't know why. Anyway. I'm excited. It looks so a little I, looks a little better person. It's it does not look showing up person. the best, but 
It'll be great. It'll be really good. It'll be great. I'm so, I love this one. I didn't, I forgot about it. Me too. You've made so much progress. Yours is so pretty. Thank you. I Yours need, is pretty too. I need to work on mine. I know that one's fun. I, I love this. And I was so mad when I, because I was on a groove and I was. You were, clearly. I was like, well, because I thought I'd start this and give you a little chance to. Catch up. <laughs> Oh, that's like I'm never ahead of you on something, so that's well. I probably funny. was working on something else. You probably dead, were, so you probably were. So I'll go again because pretty sure I have more than you. Let me get. I'm. I still have this. This is my stack. How many do you have left? This. That. We're we're pretty. Equal. Are we pretty? Equal? Yeah, I'm gonna go. Okay, you go. Well, I'm I get gonna this, go. You get yourself situated. situated. Okay, we're back to another Brenda Gervais. All my work together. <laughs> Oh, all your Brenda Gervais I ones. think they were, yes. This is called Be Happy, Humble, and Kind. And I love this one so much as well. Another basket full of berries. And I loved the colors on this one. But I think I, again, did my own color conversions. Oh, uh, you did do because I copied mm -hmm. them and kitted it up. This one is on 14 Count Mystic Gray, which it kind of has like a blue tint to it. So I thought it was perfect for these beautiful blue colors. Here's the farmer guy. I got him done and some birds. And I've started on the base there of that bowl that has the big house on it. Oh, that's the wrong side of the pattern here. Yeah, so the little house inside the big bowl. Oh, yeah, here are all my colors. <laughs> she does beautiful patterns, but I need the DMC colors, so... Yeah, we mostly stitch in DMC. But I love this one. I like this. This one's kind of like a springtimey one for me because of the birds and the yes. farmer. Okay, go ahead. Bunny bag. Bunny bag. I should put all my... Bu no, I have too many bags. I can have them separate. For a while, I had all my bunny projects in one bag. And then... Oh, here's a pair of scissors. Yay! Oh, my rabbit scissors. Oh, I love these. Because you're with, it's with the it's, bunny. I don't know if you can see them. They're so, aren't they pretty? They're so cute. <laughs> I like them. Okay. I like them too. In your Let's bunny bag. See, in my bunny bag. and my little bunny charm. Aww. I don't know if it's, it feels like it's bright. Okay. This is Harvest Hairs Pinky. As of right now, this is my oldest whip. Oh really? Yes, and I started this in 2017. The first time I tried to come back to back to cross stitch, and thought I had to do linen, and I I, I couldn't, and so I got frustrated and quit for a couple of years. So here it is, and it's Harvest Hairs Pen Keep from Scattered Seed Samplers. I don't know if I said that. So it's it's kind of cute, and then um, it's on 14 cal oatmeal. You've got quite a bit done. I that. did. I, I pulled it out and worked on it. I don't know when. I don't remember. I think it was this past year. So you can clearly see I started it in 2017. I like to put, sometimes I like to put the year I start because if I never finish it and somebody picks it up, they might think, oh, when I wonder when she did this. Well, I started it in 2017 because I clearly didn't finish it. And if you don't put a date on it, all these starts you have, they all just like run together. And then. I don't yeah. know. If yeah. something happens to you and somebody comes in and looks at all your, they're going to be like, there's no dates. Who knows? I like the dates. I agree. Anyway. I agree. Sometimes I put the finish date, but mostly I put the start date. Because it's I like quilting. Put... I do the same thing. I put, I put the start, start date. date because I don't necessarily finish yeah, it. I agree. Anyway, most people, different, have, most people put their end date, which is fine. Do what works for you. Yeah. Okay. I got it. It drops off. Okay, uh, my next one is the Shine On cross stitch that we uh, talked about from oh, nice. the Bonnie and Camille book. I forgot you had started that too. Yes, mine is on a 16 count. Oh, so yours is smaller than so mine. Mine is a lot smaller. Oh, um, yeah. And I don't have very much done at all compared to you. So I do like working on it. And I use the Call Four colors. I liked the red and I liked the yellow. That's right, you did. So. I didn't change anything, but I like yours too. Mm -hmm. But I like mine. Th th there's not much difference. So, yeah, I like this one. I'd like to work on it. Mine is much smaller than yours, though. It is! Because of the 16, 16 count, count to 14 count. Yeah. Which, obviously, because that's much smaller, but one of my favorite ones. 
Okay. I know I love that one so much. Oh, this is another tomato one. So this is Tomato Tavern. Oh, I remember I worked on this one at, I was stranded at an airport for a bit this past year. In the summertime, no less. Make sense of that. Um, this is from Lucy B or no. Lucy yeah, Beam. Lucy Beam, Love and Stitches, designed by Rebecca Noland. It's Tomato Tavern. Um, I actually bought this at Colorado Cross Stitcher, and she had stitched up just the tomato. She didn't do the sign, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the sign, and it was kind of fun. So, I like the sign. I liked the sign too. It's cute. But do what works for you, yes. right? No, I'm so, saying I like it. No, I know I do too. So I, I have some of the signs started. You would think that being in the airport stranded for four extra hours, I would have had a lot more done, but I really like to people watch. <laughs> so it's hard to look it's away. It's hard sometimes. to look away. So there's my little start. So that was another tomato one. See this summer that I liked to work on that I had. Yeah. Okay, this is A Gentleman's Daughter from Plum Street. You already showed it. I also had started it. Um, oh. So it's just a quick reminder what it looked like. Yeah. And I'm doing mine on 16 count. Um, it was white, but I hand dyed it with charcoal gray writ dye. Um, and I have the words started there. And I've started on this sheep and some of the grass and there's some legs there too. <laughs> some legs. <laughs> and that's it. You got more of a start. I remember I it was, it's kind of hard to stitch the grass because you got to do the sheep and then also the diamond pattern oh. of the grass. Um, are there two greens in the grass then? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But the little sheep are so cute. They are cute. So I love this one. The Me colors too. are very pretty. Yes. And see, mine is gray, so I hope my white house will show up. The white dish house. I think it'll show up on mine. Yeah, my white house won't we'll show see. up on mine. It's a nice size, too. It's not too big, so. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I'll have to fix that at some point. This is a pro oh, project bag. And this is Gathering Clover from Luminous Fiber Arts. I forgot you started that one. I did too, actually. Oh, wow. It's kind of for March. For March, you know. Patrick's yeah, because it's all, I did it all in green. Here's Luminous Fiber Arts. Sweet little birds with some clovers. Four leaf clovers, too. And, sorry, here, let's see. I was going to see if I could see. Sorry. Oh, I'm Thank stitching you. this with sulky 12 weight variegated. It's pretty. Again. I like stitching with sulky. You use only one thread. Well, I only use one thread. And so I think this is the way it goes. It stitches up really fun. The variegation does. Yeah, it looks really nice on there. I think this is a 16 count. Well, maybe like Picture it. this plus something. Kind of a, I don't know what color it is for sure. But so I, that's the top of the watering can and part of one of the leaves. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it must be. It looks like fun to stitch with the variegated thread. Yeah, it's kind of pretty with that variegation. It's very pretty. I used to have some yeah, on my looks, shop. It's like, very pretty. I I sold it all, so I don't have any more. So I bought a whole big box of it and then thought, oh. Maybe somebody else wants it, and I sold it all. People did. They wanted it. It will. It stitches up really pretty. It does. So anyway. Okay. Next, we've got the primitive hair. It's called from primitive hair. It's called Mother of the Ocean. And sorry, there's a glare, but I love this one. What's the matter, buddy? He wants to go out. He's moaning. He's in his chair now. Well, somebody let him out, and then he had to come back in here, so he can't be happy. Um, this is on 16 count tea dye. Oh, wow. I thought that was a bigger pattern. Uh, no, it's very tiny. Oh, it is. And so I've got the O down there. I got to spell ocean and I started outlining the tail. Um, and this is kind of parts of the border. 
I love the ocean ones. I like that one too. Me too. I did have to uh, change quite a few of the colors just because they were like all shades of black and gray and I just didn't feel like I needed all of them. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like some of them are hand dyed. Correct. So I, I did do a little few little changes, but I'm happy with how it's turning out. It's a fun little stitch. So yeah, and that's his little whale tail down there in the bottom. So there's that one. Nice. Okay. We love whales. We do love whales. Are getting we, are to we the end? Are we too dark? Are we okay? No, I think we're fine. Okay. We are getting to the end. Oh, this, I'm like, what is this? This is from Stacy Nash, Summer at Hollyberry Farm. I love this one. Me too. I will make my house white <laughs> on this one. <laughs> Just saying. But your yeah. fabric looks nice and dark, so it'll be yeah, fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. And I haven't. Oh, I, ha I tea dyed this myself. So I've started up in the border. It's a much more darker color than what is actually showing up. So that doesn't look like the color of it at all. Um... I don't know what fabric it is. It looks like a 16 count. And I think I dyed it on a white. Tea dyed it. But this is not, the color is really just not what is showing up. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty though. That light you should have turned off. And the colors are very pretty. So. I actually had to pick my own colors now that I'm looking here. Mm -hmm. And it, it took me a lot of work to pick my own colors on this one. I've never started any of her, of those. Um, yeah, because she only lists. Mm -hmm. And so I pretty much just looked at the pattern and went, okay, I need a blue, I need a red, I need yep. a brown, I need two greens yep. or whatever. That's yep. how I chose this because I didn't have all these hand dyes that mm -hmm. she was asking for and I wasn't going to go buy them. Yep. So, so yeah, I like how it's looking though. I like the berries there. That's intense. That's an intense border. It is an intense border. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. All right. My next one is called The Clustered Stars. And this is from a Blackbird Designs book. I think it's the Land of Liberty book. Oh. Is that what that book is called? I think it is called. I don't that. have my book with me. I have a, I just took a copy out of it so that I could have and show you guys what it looked like so I didn't have to bring the whole book right this is what it is it's called the clustered stars I don't really know why it's called that but <laughs> it is and this is on an 18 count that I hand dyed with tea and here's my progress I started this this summer um it was my patriotic start I got a lot of it done because this up here in the corner is all filled in. It won't even focus. It's all filled in. So I don't know. That's oh, worse. turn that off. It's fine. Um, it's getting really dark. So I had a lot of fun stitching this one. I'd like to finish it. Yeah, I like it. So. And it's a nice little size. It'll be a um, cute little pillow. I know. I, I do work on this one like every year, a tiny little bit. So maybe sometime it'll get done. Suffrage Act from Little House Needleworks. And... I, I do work on this every year, just a little bit. Um, but it's taken me a while to get it done, but that's, it's okay. I mean, I have more done than, what's going on? It's caught, mm, it's caught on the zipper, I think, or something. I'm gonna, use, oh, I know, I'm gonna borrow this. And so I have the, the lettering done at the top and the, 
pole with the vine on it and I've started the brick wall on the bottom. So someday it will be finished. <laughs> it's one that I sometimes pick up on the fourth of the month, even if I can just stitch on it for just a little bit. Uh, so slowly I've made progress on it. Someday it'll be finished, hopefully. And this is a 16 count Dirty Ada, looks like. You've got a little thingy. 16 count amber is what it's called. Sorry. Looks like Dirty Ada. It does look like Dirty Ada. So. It's just a solid. It's not a hand dyed. Yeah. I think it came from 123 Stitch. This one's coming up. I have that somewhere. I'll pull it out. I know yeah. you do. So let's show this one. Okay, you go You go ahead. And well, you have the, you want to go first? Oh, sure. Why don't you just go first? Do I have more done or do you have more done? Um, you do. Have, you have more done. So I guess I'll so go you, first. You go first. But, I'll show the pattern. So this one is Be Kind from Teresa Kogut. I love this one. Me too. You started it and then I was like, I need to start it. It's 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 a fun stitch. It is. Um, this is mine. So <laughs> I don't have very much done. I just have part of the alphabet done at the bottom there. I remember so, I started this one all. when I was in Spearfish, South Dakota. And mine is 14 year. count tea dye. So it's a nice kind of golden color. Isn't it funny how you remember how you, when you were stitching on something, where you yes. were, what you were doing, or what was going on? Yes. Or, I was trying to find what I stitched mine on. I had to tape my pattern together because I was having issues. Same. Going across the pattern. Yes, it's definitely difficult. So it was an issue for me. Okay, I don't know what this is on. It's a 16 count something looks like a picture of this plus it does cafe latte or something yeah. here's mine so i have the alphabet finished on the bottom and i've jumped up to work on the bee skeps or beehives and the big bee which is going to be really fun to stitch i think and i love the honey yeah the, the dipper yeah what do you call it the dipper i don't know what it's called it's like the honey well, it's so pretty i love the colors on it me too the golds. Yeah, I like stitching this one. Me too. It's really pretty. It is really pretty. So you started at the top. No, I started at the oh, bottom. Oh, no, you started at the bottom. I just have none, hardly any yeah. done. I have the STU. Yeah. That's it. So you've got a lot more than me. I don't, I don't know why I found this super easy. It looks beautiful. And thank the you. Hive. Thank it looks you. so pretty. I, I love your, it. I knew Yours looks beautiful one. too. Oh, thank you. I knew we had that one together. Yeah, I had to go in and cut apart that pattern and tape it together because yeah it's it's, cr it's across like four pages and it's, it's not very big you can see it's not very big it's really so, zoomed in it's too zoomed in yeah it was like I was like oh I, I I have sometimes have a hard time jumping page to page so me too I'll copy it cut it apart you tape it back together so that's an idea for yeah if you're having trouble doing that all right how many do you have left I have oh I have like four okay you do another five. one I only I don't know I have like five. I only have one more. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll show this one because I'm okay. Love the houses on this one. This is you can tell this is, was in a car. Yeah. This is Stacy Nash Primitives. Um House of Houses of Berries. Chapel Chapel Road. Road. Miss Baxter's house is what this is. I, I know a lot of people were doing this, working on this last year, I think. Oh, I, remember, I think this is the one I'm thinking of. Anyway, I'm I'm very anxious to stitch this log cabin. That looks fun to stitch. Doesn't it? Yes, it does. Mine is stitched on 16 count Wren from Picture This Plus. Pretty sure I don't have very much done. I don't. But I started on the border. So isn't that exciting? Aren't you guys excited to see that? <laughs> Sometimes you show these and you're like, well, oh, yeah, I made no progress. People are like, oh yeah, Bonnie, thanks for showing us uh, six uh, stitches you did stitches there. You six did leaves there. you the got six, over there. The six leaves that you have over there. Yeah. Okay, and then let's see. 
This also does not have very much stitching on it. Love my owl bag. So oh, I love that one. I have that one too. This bag? Yeah, I love that one. It's one of my favorites. I couldn't remember. This is Cottage Gardens. Cottage Garden, excuse me. Uh, Samplings Strawberry Harvest. And I mean, all these pinks and greens can't go wrong. No. Mine is stitched on a 14 count hazy gray from Fabric Flare. And it looks like I started on the border somewhere. Not sure if that, that's the top or the bottom or if it matters. It looks like it's pretty symmetrical. But I'll have to figure it out. The strawberries go one direction or the other. So once yeah. you figure that out, you'll be able to. I see that. I think that's the. I don't know. It's... Oh, it's the top. I think it's the top. It too. is the top. I think so. So. I had fun stitching it when I stitched it. But... I like that fabric too. That looks. I like the model. Yeah. Of it. It I do as well. Nice. I do as well. So. Um. Sometimes I like those like printed because that's a printed it's one. It's a printed right? yeah. fabric. Sometimes I like the printed ones. Yeah. Sometimes it just Same. depends. Just depends. I agree. Um, okay. Here's another lame one. I'll show this one and then I can do my last one. Then. Okay. This is I have a what do I have here? Okay, so this is Stitching with the Housewives Strawberry Seeds. And they have a whole bunch that are look like seed packets. And of course, I was thinking I was going to stitch up the whole bunch because I cut a whole bunch of black Ada to do them. On. I have a whole pile of seed packs to do. I mean, there's the pumpkin seeds. There's there's a whole bunch. And so I started up here at the top with... For strawberry. For That's strawberry. Nice. That's cute. Yeah, it is cute. Um, it... Stitching on black is okay because this is a... done it. This is a 14 count just yeah ada um but you know I could see it being hard to see the holes i i think i, I prefer to be in um this is frankly too from um i prefer to be in natural light stitching them ah yes that makes sense that yeah makes sense. i have two more okay let me do one okay or do you want to do another one i don't i don't care i'll do another just one. go for it okay <laughs> This one. I do oh, too. This is Modern Folk Embroidery and it's um, called The Biscuit Mill. Here it is. This is from last Christmas. I think he, he designed this one based off of biscuit molds. Um, it's a nice taste of mine on 14 count antique blue. This so one pretty. reminds me of my grandma because she used to love those windmill biscuits. So this one is really pretty. This was fun to stitch to. It looks fun. I need to get back to this one. This is fun. So there's my start. Um, I picked my own colors. I don't know if he gave a colors. I don't think he did. I used Ecru and 924. They looked pretty on your blue. And so. they looked pretty on this blue. And I do I know what blue? This is 14 count antique blue. It's just a Zweigart antique blue. I don't know where I got it. But anyway. It's very cute. It could have been something I got from Hobby Lobby, actually. I think they do sell a pack. Like that. Yeah, don't yeah. they? Yeah, I think because I think I have mine kitted up. Okay. With the same because yeah. I love how yours is looking. So. I do too. It looks so pretty. Thank you. Okay. Okay, my last one is um, The Houses of Hawk Run Hollow by Carriage House Samplings. And I started up at the top and I have the first three blocks done. This is on an 18 count that I tea dyed again. So I have, I started over here to make sure it was going to fit on my Ada. <laughs> but I have three blocks done. So there quite a bit of stitching for each of them but I definitely enjoy it so, and there are 12 total love it so much I love it too love it so much too okay Kathy Holton fabric I think gotta love that looks like 
uh, needlepoint. Okay, so this was a pattern. It's from Curtis Bowringer in its Wildflowers of America. And I got one free with an order like last year and I fell in love with it. It's a very old pattern. And um, this is number two of 12. And so I got online and found like seven more of them that I'm gonna stitch them on different fabrics and then I'm gonna sew them together. But I'll just show you, they don't, there's no picture. That's how they come. Um, they're like, they're from the eighties, I think is what I read. Oh no, 1995, sorry. Oh, I mean, they're still older, so. But they are, but I loved them. And so anyway, I, this is the one I got for free that I, you know, I don't know why, but they sent it to me with my order. Queen Anne's Lace is what the one I have. And so, like I said, I want to stitch the ones I have. I think I have eight of them that are different wildflowers. And I'm going to stitch them on different little fabrics. Like I have daffodil, thistle, strawberries, just to give you an idea, bloodroot, dandelions, and then I'll sew them together. It'll be really cute. Yeah. To do that. I like that. I like that idea. Be something different. Yes. Okay. Well, that is all we have of our whips yes, for non-seasonal non -seasonal. that has, you know, no holiday stuff in it really. Yeah. So thank you for thank you. coming along with us. Yes, thank you. To all of those. Yeah, that was fun to touch them all and look at them. Yes, it definitely was. And find all my scissors and your needles. Found all my needles. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.